Welcome to CAP's webinar about federal acquisitions and assistive technology. I'm John Lee, and joining me today is Kim Evans. Hello, everyone. Today we're going to talk a little bit about what goes on behind the scenes at CAP once a request for accommodation is placed by a CAP customer. CAP customers include DOD employees, active duty wounded service members, or federal employees with one of our 68 partner agencies. This webinar will help you understand what to expect and in particular why some orders have longer or shorter timeframes. This webinar will cover the federal acquisition regulations that apply to procuring AT, accommodations by order type, timing to receive AT, and ways CAP procures AT. As you may be aware, CAP does not maintain a large in-house inventory of assistive technology. Historically, CAP has procured frequently requested assistive technology in quantities that were used to fill requests that were submitted within a 30-day period after the procurement of the AT. Any items procured for this purpose must abide by the bona fide needs rule as defined by the Anti-Deficiency Act. For example, CAP can procure 25 ergonomic keyboards that are frequently requested. Those keyboards must then be used to fill requests submitted for that specific keyboard in the 30-day period after they were procured. Each CAP request is handled on a case-by-case -case basis in terms of approval, ordering from the vendor, and shipment to the customer. This is also beneficial to customers because it allows for a wide scope of assistive technology options and ensures that customers are receiving the most up-to-date technology. When CAP procures any assistive technology, we adhere to the Federal Acquisition Regulation, also known as a FAR. These laws oversee government purchasing and ensure consistency and fairness in federal procurement. CAP works closely with the Defense Human Resource Activity, DHRA's Procurement Support Office, PSO, to procure assistive technology. Adhering to the FAR, CAP has several different ways of purchasing assistive technology, depending on the item being purchased. These include, Blanket Purchase Agreements, also known as BPAs, which have comprised 82% of all CAP accommodations fiscal year state. A complete approved product list of CAP's BPA items can be found on CAP's website under Accommodation Solutions, on the right-hand side about halfway down the page. Purchases with a Government Purchase Card make up 7% of CAP accommodations fiscal year to date. CAP Inventory, and again, this is limited, accounts for 10% of CAP accommodations for this fiscal year. Only 1% of accommodations this fiscal year have been procured through requirement packages, and military interdepartmental purchase requests are currently at 0% for this fiscal year. You may be wondering why it matters to agencies and customers how CAP procures the assistive technology. Well, one of the biggest reasons is that it impacts the timing of when assistive technology is delivered to the customer. Assistive technology could be delivered within 10 business days of placing a request or more than 60 days depending on what's being requested and the procuring method. A typical request is delivered in 10 to 15 business days from when the request is submitted and when all the pertinent information is received accurately, including a complete and verified mailing address, diagnosis of disabling condition, medical documentation, and valid justification for the accommodations. Agencies need to consider CAP's turnaround time as part of the agency's total turnaround time to provide accommodations. If an agency has a relatively short required time frame within which to provide assistive technology to an employee, 20 days for example, that request needs to come from the agency to CAP as quickly as possible. It is important to factor in your agency's time frames to ensure the continuity of the accommodation process. Another factor that impacts the turnaround on requests is CAP's fiscal year. Requests placed from January to July are fulfilled within the time frame we discussed. However, August through December, purchasing will be limited and may result in some longer time frames. Let's talk about the most common types of purchases CAP makes and how each type might impact the request, delivery process, and timing for customers. These types are blanket purchase agreements, BPAs, government purchase card, and requirement packages. BPAs are contracts with a vendor that simplify reoccurring product requests and take advantage of quantity discounts. This is the fastest type of procurement CAP can complete for a customer. 
If you go to cap.mil and look at the products, you'll see BPA products are denoted by a green clock icon for quick delivery. Unless there is a very specific and justifiable reason not to order off the BPA, this is the best method for placing requests for customers. Now, in some cases, if an item is not on one of CAT's BPAs, but the customer can justify why a specific item or specific brand is the only workable solution, CAT may make a purchase outside of the BPA. This is usually done using a government purchase card, or basically a credit card. For example, a customer might specify that a particular product is the only one of that type permitted on their network. Non-BPA requests are reviewed twice a week. A government purchase card, or GPC purchase, is used when the total of known non-BPA requests at that point is less than 3K. Requests cannot be intentionally split to be less than 3K, as that would be in violation of the FAR. So, if the total of known non-BPA requests is less than 3K, and CAP is satisfied that the customers have justified the requests, the items will be purchased using a GPC. When CAP is making a GPC purchase, they are required to use mandatory sources such as Ability One, GSA Advantage, or DOD email. If and when CAP looks at the total outstanding requests outside the BPA and they total over 3K, CAP will make the purchase using a requirement package. This could be one customer requesting a very expensive piece of assistive technology or several known requests that add up to over 3K. Whether or not a non-BPA request is done by GPC or requirement package isn't within CAP or the customer's control. It's all based upon the timing and nature of the requests that are submitted. Products that are part of the requirement package can take 30 to 60 days to receive. Requirement packages are sent to DHRA's procurement support office and they determine which vendor receives the contract award. When you're getting ready to submit a request or want to look at products to see what may be new on the BPA list, our website, cat.mil, is always a great resource. Other resources besides the site include contacting our staff by email or checking out our YouTube page for assistive technology demonstrations, customer testimonials, and webinars. For more information regarding DHRA's procurement support offices, procurement process, and requirements, please visit www.dhra.mil slash PSO. For any questions, please contact CAP at 703-614-8416 or email cap at mail.mil. For links to previous webinars and a list of topics for upcoming webinars, please visit www.cap.mil slash news events slash webinars.aspx. And thank you for joining us today.